Hello and welcome to my channel. I am back to making junk journals. I really like this junk journal. Let me show you what I used for the base. So you've heard me talk about Five Below. I like Five Below. It is so inexpensive. Now that they don't have a Tuesday morning, I'm at Five Below all the time. So this paper is only $5. That's why it's Five Below. And the watercolor paper is really nice. In the back, I use this for the cover of this book. And then as far as the material that I used for the top of this, I bought this at Timu. It's like a natural paper. When I bought their first order, you can see I have a lot. <laughs> it had a lot of holes in it, as you can see right here. So they did give me a refund, so I went ahead and ordered more. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it, but I like it. Um, I have used it on some other journals, but for this one in particular, I used it for the top cover and then also for the back. And it feels really nice and the texture is nice. You might even notice right here that I hand sewed this canvas. So for this spine, I use canvas and there's a total of 13 signatures. And I wanted to make sure that it stayed nice and secure. Okay, for the front, I used one of my embossing folders and I just did some layering look with the scrapbook paper I had around. And for the tie, I still have a little bit left of this silk tie material. It is so strong and sturdy. I think I only have enough for one more book. You may have noticed my voice is a little bit different. I am getting over a cold. I think it's just one of those end of summer colds. So anyway, let's go back to this book. For the front cover and the back cover, Many, many, many years ago, I did a collage of all my extra scrapbook paper and I haven't done anything with it, so I decided why not just add it to this one. So it's nice thick paper. I made sure and used, I think, tacky glue with it and I held it together with lots of binders and weight on it so it's nice and secure. One of the other things you're gonna notice is that I did stenciling on all these pages and I did different type of stenciling and I used different types of stamps. So I'll briefly go through this and you can see all the different patterns. Okay, enough of all my talking. Let's go ahead and do a flip through. 